Religion does not have anything to do with my art, with my work, although it does have a great role in the history of art. And I'm inspired by a lot of artwork that has religious subject matter. My work is more spiritual in nature, uh, as I think most artists have a spiritual connection to their artwork. Uh, when you create, you divine, and that brings you closer to God. I worked as an art appraiser for the last two years, and so by default, I ended up looking at a lot of old masters, a lot of impressionists, a lot of Japanese print masters from the Edo period. They were by default a powerful influence, and I was lucky to have a job where I was looking at such great artists and artwork all day for my work. The painting that Rubens made after his Fall of the Rebel Angels drawing was called Fall of the Damned. It is a far more sublime and abstract work than anything I've known Rubens to create. But there's no question that the subject was Fall of the Rebel Angels. That painting had a great influence on my Fall of the Rebel Angels. Some of the other artists that are of influence for me certainly are Mark Rothko and Barnett Newman. Barnett Newman's 14 Stations of the Cross is part of the collection of the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. And I've spent a lot of time looking at those paintings and they're of great influence. Sigmar Polk, especially his The Spirits That Lend Strength, They're Invisible series, um, uh, tremendous influence. And the German master Gerhard Richter is a powerful influence on my work. The Fall of the Rebel Angels was a 2019 work completed at the end of 2019. But the division and apathy and criminality that inspired the protests that were going on in 2020 were certainly prevalent in 2019. The last four years in America have felt out of control, manipulated by forces beyond our control, and at times there were concerns of civil war. It felt as if the war in heaven was happening right here in America, and the whole world could see providence burning. The story of the fall of the rebel angels is the story of Lucifer, who was the most beautiful of all the angels. Because he was so beautiful, his heart was filled with the sin of pride, and it corrupted him. He thought he could wage war against God and rule heaven. He gathered about him a host of devils and demons, fallen angels all, to engage the angels loyal to God led by Michael the Archangel. Lucifer, now Satan, was defeated by Michael, cast out of heaven, along with all the other fallen angels. This occurs in Revelations at the end of days and the end of time, but we have more time to pursue. And while most wish that the events that have tra transpired the last four years were an aberration, the serpent that led the world astray is not destroyed. He's merely coiled up in a tree.